Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. So what I'm doing out here today is I want to do a, I think it's eight months that I haven't colored my hair and I, I also have bees after me. So if I freak out, it's because I have, the bees really like me because sometimes I give them water and I think they're, they're after me. So, um, what I was gonna do was get in the sun so you can see what what's going on here. It's a little too bright, so, but dad gummit, I don't like bees in my face. Anyway, so I almost gave in. I actually bought a box of color because I couldn't take it anymore. But but I got I kind of got over it. I like this color better than I like this color, and you guys probably can't really see all that much difference. But I I I notice it more than anyone else probably does. Dad, come out. The bees get into our our trailer also, and it's driving me crazy. I was gonna see if I could get a shot. I see a bird. <laughs> I'm very I'm very easily distracted as as many of you uh probably know, but I I don't have a selfie stick. I have uh I've got the uh tripod in my hand. But here is the back of it. This is what drives me crazy right here because and I can't really tell what I'm doing, but this right here does not blend in. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I mean, I'm, I like my hair. I guess it could be worse. Could be a whole lot worse. So I'm gonna ask your opinion. I would like to know if, um, should I, should I let it go and finish? I don't like to be a quitter. So should I just wait and see how it looks and in a couple of months in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> I had to figure that out. Um, I got four more months until it'll be a year and and then I'll maybe I'll, I'll decide if I like it good enough to leave it this way. So thank you for your opinion and um, we'll see what happens then. Hey y'all guess what happened <laughs> so uh, I don't sorry I'm tripping I I don't know what happened but when we went to Mexico for for a couple of days and I bought a box of hair color and I just decided I I was gonna do it and so no more dark roots which it just makes me feel better and I don't know if I will, I'll probably just do it like every couple of months. And I believe that Brian told me our audience is 95% men and only 5% women. So if you're watching this right now and uh, you're probably wishing there would be a building video, well, I also wish that. <laughs> but. Brian is working on it. You know how, you know he likes to do his research. So um, he's he does things really well and thoroughly, and likes to research them, which which is really good. So, um, but this is the way it looks now, and I know it's not that big of a difference, but I like it because it it ta it makes the texture better, and I don't know. I just like it better but this is what it looks like uh oh lordy uh the 12 month dye challenge is over and so that's the end of that <laughs> thank you for watching and i got a as usual i have a bug after me <laughs> oh also 
thanks everybody for uh, continuing to watch us and support us, especially to those who have hung in there for as long as you have. <laughs>